Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Boise State's been unable to get anything going over the last few weeks. The losing streak is starting to grow and feed on itself. Doubt has crept in. Will they be able to find a way to right the ship? That's going to do it for us. Thanks for checking out the pregame show. NCAA college football action coming right at you. Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I are back at halftime. and just about ready to send this one off as we're ready to get this game underway. He's to the 20. He's out to the 30. And he's taken down at the 32. The Broncos have got a guy at quarterback that is a true leader. We found that out this week talking to him. We sure did, Brad. It was interesting this week and as you and I prepared for this game, finding out that he called a players-only meeting without any of the coaches just to get this team focused and let them understand what it takes to go on the road and to win this kind of game. And when you have that kind of leadership, you get a real chance to be able to go on the road and win. And that play could have gone for six. Oh, boy, you're right. And all week long, this secondary did a lot of talking about how they were going to dominate these receivers. I think this is time that they step up and prove it on the field. Forget about talking trash. Let's see how they react after giving up that big play. So after the big pass play, we've got a first down. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. He tried to hit his receiver in stride, but overthrew it a little too much. That'll come in time. Just repetition, throwing that same pass over and over, and he'll be fine. Tackle made at the 25. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. It's first and 10. Ball on the 25-yard line. Makes it to the 22-yard line. And the halfback carries for a pickup of three. That'll make it second and seven. set up a screen for the wide receiver and down he goes at the 25 yard line loss of three pretty good stand there they weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call third and ten ball on the 25 they'll line up with five wide receivers for it all to the end zone. Got it. Touchdown, Boise State. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Reese Davis joins us in the studio with this update. Reese. Houston in action over in Houston. And for Houston, they're looking to win two in a row. And for Rodgers, he's caught a pass for a touchdown. We've got a 7-7 game elsewhere. They are lighting up the scoreboard again in the Big 12. And for Texas State, they've won two straight. Texas State gets the win, 28-7. Thanks, Reese. 7-0 game here. Sanders Boise State ready to kick this one off. Sanders. 
Sanders from the one. Tackle at the 27. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Catches it, and that's all. Peterson picks him up six yards with a catch. Up the middle for a nice game. Around the 41 yard line. He's into the open field. Nice run to the outside. Game of seven on the play. Come on, Mike 13, Mike 13. He's taken down at the 45. Loss of three yards on the play. That brings up fourth and three. Goff is the punter. made at the 34-yard line. Six points and a pretty display of passing was a result of their last drive. Kirk, do you expect the defense to take a different approach here? When this quarterback is on, he is on. It already seems like whatever this defense is trying just isn't working. But maybe if they add just a little bit more pressure, then they might be able to force him into a mistake. From their own 37-yard line. It's second down. Boise State up seven points. Throws middle of the tight end. They'll bring him down right around the 50. That makes it first and ten. After a decent run up the gut. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. Brought down right around the 42 yard line. After positive yardage. That's good for a gain of four yards. First down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 38 yard line. Out of bounds at the 35 yard line. Come out in a five wide set. Slings it. And he's tackled right around the 26 yard line. First down. From the 26 yard line. First down. He's tackled the 17 yard line. Call it a gain of nine yards. That makes it second and two. Oh, we had a pitcher's duel in that low-scoring first quarter. Boise State leads it 7-0. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. Boise State is up a score. He 
He throws. Throws quickly into the end zone. Caught for the touchdown. A good football team has to consistently be able to capitalize when they're in the red zone. So they're going to try to determine if the receiver had possession and was inbounds or not. They call it a catch, but the booth signaled down to the referee that they'd like to take another peek at this. Man, as I see this play again, it really looks like he made the correct call on the field. After review of the play, the ruling on the field stands. After review, they decided that the call on the field will stand. And he converts the extra point. Let's throw it out to Reese now for a studio update. The football's fly all over the lot in the Big 12. We've been watching this thing all day long. And for Houston, a masterful game plan by their offensive coordinator. Palmer splashed his sticky fingers as he's hauled in a touchdown. Houston has the edge, 21-7, late in the first quarter. That's good stuff, Reese. Thank you. Boise State they line up to kick this one away. Sanders needs to return. Caught at the 8. He's out to the 30. Gets out to about the 31. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. Gains his way to the 39-yard line. And they make the stop at the 37. That'll bring up third and four. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Taken down around the 39-yard line. They go to the air and pick up a couple. Doesn't look like this defense is going to let them beat them with the deep passes. So they'll allow those short completions to the tight end. Parker is back deep to return the punt. He's to the 40. He makes it out to maybe the 43-yard line. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. He fights forward to about the 43. From their own 43-yard line, it's second down. And they push him out at about the 47-yard line. That makes it first and 10. Three down, three down. Three down, three down. Got his man. Can't tack on any yardage. So it's second down now. They need about four yards to pick up the first. And he hits him hard at the 28. That's a game of 12 on the play. First down. Two ties, two ties. Two down, two down. Two down, two down. Mike check, 33. 33. Ready! Run! Tries to get out of trouble, but he can't shake the defense. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that.
They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. I'm not sure the quarterback saw him when he was getting ready to pass because he stuck his paw right in the passing lane. toughness here by this quarterback of sitting in until the last second trying to make a play downfield only to have this defense get to him. He's got to do a better job maybe feeling things out a little bit but at least he has the awareness and a toughness to sit in that pocket. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. out to about the 22-yard line. Hill comes away with two yards on the carry. Arizona just took their first time out from their own 22-yard line. Second down. They'll make the sack. Boy, Brad, that was a big hit on the quarterback. I'm going to be interested to see how he responds from this hit and whether or not he comes after his offensive lineman and challenges them to start playing a little bit better. He has some room. He makes his way to about the 32. To be successful, you've got to be able to come through on third down, and that's just what they did with that big run. Backs got it. He's pushed out of bounds on the 38 yard line. That brings him second and four. From their own 38 yard line. Second down. frustrated there they did everything they got to the quarterback in fact it looked like they had a chance to bring him down for the sack but somehow he's able to throw the ball away Goff is waiting for the snap he makes it out to maybe the 39 yard line Boise State's offense is just clicking on all cylinders, Herbie, right now. It's everything they plan for, and it's all working. Everything is coming together for this offense. They seem to be getting better with each series. And, you know, this game started where this team was, you know, they wondered if they were going to be able to move the ball against this defense. And I think right now, I think they seem to, as I said earlier, they seem to be growing with their confidence with each possession. Open man, quick strike, and he can't pull it in. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 39-yard line. Tackle made at the 50-yard line. Called again at 11 yards. That makes it first and 10. He sails it long. And down he goes at the 10-yard line. They really got beat by the deep pass. Against man-to-man -man coverage like that, it's just a foot race. It's first down and 10 now after picking up some great yardage through the air. Fires quickly, and he's got his receiver for the touchdown. He hauls in his second touchdown catch. You know, this guy is such a difficult target to cover in the passing game. 
it usually doesn't matter who's covering him. He always seems to find a way to get open and make a catch. And he tacks on the extra point. A four-play, 61-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He's to the 20, gets to about the 24-yard line. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. Five wide. And he's immediately tackled. Around an eight-yard pickup on the slant route from the quarterback. Arizona is going to have to use their second time out of the half. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Wears it out to the right to the halfback. He's knocked out of bounds at the 42-yard line. I'm not sure if the back was his first option, but he got in the ball, and he was able to make something big happen. Got it complete. He's out of bounds. This receiving core runs some great routes. And that last play was an example of that. As a defender, it can be tough to match up sometimes. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 39-yard line. Spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Very good tackle in space. They come out in an empty backfield. Would have been a big play by the defense. He can't hold it. I'm not so sure he made the best decision that time. That was a pretty tight area he was trying to throw that one into. It's second and ten. Ball on the 24. You know, at that point, I think the quarterbacks are just better off just taking a sack. You have to be very careful as you're feeling pressure to throw the ball just to throw the ball. If you feel like you're not going to be able to make a play and the defense got you, just give up on that play and get ready for the next down. Swings it out there incomplete. Sure, it's disappointing, but this is the kind of mechanical flaw you can fix with practice and coaching. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Nice play to set up first and goal. We've still got a half of football remaining. The Broncos with a three touchdown advantage. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Keith Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Both of these defenses are opportunistic and very good at forcing turnovers. But both quarterbacks, David, have done a very good job while trying to maintain an aggressive mindset they haven't forced the ball. The runners have done a good job keeping it put away. Yeah, and as much as you preach that all throughout the week, it's still hard to do. It's hard to execute. And being able to see what you see on the defensive side of the football and adjust to it offensively, how about protecting the quarterback so he's not getting hit from the blind side, fumbling the football, ball carriers running with the football, keeping it tight to their body, not giving it away. So, you know, between running backs, receivers, and quarterbacks, offensive linemen blocking, did a great job executing on the offensive side of the football, not to create, not to give away any turnovers. 
That's going to do it at halftime. Just about ready to start the second half. All right, you finish it up, brother. I'm going to get some of the cafeteria. I'm hungry. But, look, wait. Don't leave until you get my order. Brad Kirk, take the second half. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 29-yard line. Boise State's continuing to play extremely tough defense. This has been impressive. It's just been impressive to watch them play with such an attitude, almost a chip on their shoulder with the energy that they're playing with. And I think it's going to require that kind of effort to be able to win this game. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. They'll bring him down at the 26. They lose three yards there. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. That brings up second and 13. From their own 26-yard line, second down. He's got it out to his tight end. Brought down at about the 39-yard line. Tackle right around the 38-yard line. And the linebacker comes up and makes a big stop. This is textbook. This is how you're supposed to play against the run. It's third and 11. Ball on the 38 yard line. Throws it in a hurry. And he's taken down at the 48 yard line. He's tackled at the 35. Stop short down here the last two trips. Gains his way to the 10 yard line. That brings up second and one. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. level at the 12-yard line. The penetration by the defense was so good on that play that it didn't matter who the ball carrier was. Anyone would have been brought down for a loss. Here's the 11th play of the drive. The Wildcats had one of their key guys go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to return. Makes it out to maybe the 10 yard line. That was some sure tackling to make sure he didn't pick up the first down. They'll line up for the field goal, and this is nothing more than a chip shot. Kicks up, and he got it. Arizona to kick. Take 
six from the 10. They'll bring him down at the 38. We're about set to start things up again. Fires quickly to the tight end. Broke away from one. He's brought down in the open field. That's his third game of 17 yards. First down. First and ten. Ball on the 45 yard line. Three down, three down. Mike Schick, 33. 33. Quick shot to the open receiver, and he can't hang on to the ball. Number 34, the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. Three down, three down. Hey, check Mike 33. Check Mike 33. Makes the grab and steps out right away. Superb effort by the receiver to come down with that ball. Uh, this comes down to the timing between the quarterback and the receiver, and the result, again, a nice play for the offense. First and 10, ball on the 33. Fires out to his receiver, and he's shoved out of bounds right around the 14-yard line. First down. From the 14 yard line. First down. He's taken down at the four yard line. Number six makes the tackle at the four yard line. That makes it first and goal. Scrambling around. Caught end zone for the touchdown. And he adds the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He'll return it from the one. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 20. The Bronco staff has got a winner on their hands. You've been around kids like this. They're just fun to be around. Yeah, they're fun to be around, and I think it's infectious. His attitude, I think, uh, permeates throughout this entire offense and really uh, throughout the entire team. There's, it's no wonder this team is so competitive with him at the, at the front leading the way. Quick throw incomplete. One of his receiver. From their own 20-yard line, it's second down. On the draw, tackle in the backfield. Incomplete. He was looking for the tight end. That pass didn't look exactly right when it left his hand. Sometimes you don't get a great grip on the ball, and it comes out a little wobbly. Parker, back to return it. Parker takes it at the 49. So he got a little on that return. Well, Brad, early it looked like there was an opening there, but the seam closed quickly. I'm sure that touchdown in their last possession's given them some confidence, but let's see if that carries them back down the field. I love to watch a quarterback when he can really get into sync with his wide receivers. These guys have worked all week on their preparation to attack this defense, and right now it's really paying off. What impresses me so much is the guy's vision. He read the coverage perfectly to find his man for good yardage. 
Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Boise State in control. Check, check. Easy, easy, easy. Fox two, Fox two. We head into the fourth quarter in a game that's never been close. Boise State leads it 28-3. Not sure there's any hope for a comeback here in the fourth quarter, but Kirk and I are praying. Three down, three down. Hey, check by 33. Check by 33. Yeah. Red 18. Red 18. Ah. He's hit and taken down. From the 25 yard line. First down. Nice run there as they work the outside. That's a DD four on one guy. That makes it second and six. Right, right, right. Two down, two down. Hey, check by 33. Check by 33. And they make the stop at the 18. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. Fires quick out to the receiver and he can't make the grab. This will just add insult to injury. He gets it up, and he's got it. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Taken from the three-yard line. He wasn't breaking that tackle. What a hit. The deficit is huge, but as a player, you never want to slow down your effort. Believe me, coaches notice the ones who aren't trying that hard. They come out in a five-wide set. Fires incomplete. Peterson's the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. From their own 30-yard line. Second down. Tackle made at the 40-yard line. They go to the back, and he's hit immediately in the backfield. The defense was all over that draw play. And they got very good containment on the halfback. He had nowhere to go with the football. It's second and 13. Ball on their own 37. Mike 13, Mike 13. Damn. New set. And he's hit immediately. Complete, he's hit right away. Just under three to go in regulation. Quick throw, and he's got his receiver again. He's at the 20 to the 10. Touchdown, Wildcats. White out here truly knows what he has to do to contribute to make his team successful. <laughs> and 
and he tacks on the extra point. A six-play, 70-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Brad, how about the guys up front? The offensive line giving the quarterback plenty of time to be able to read the defense and make the right throw. So our score, 31-10. He's tackled at the 40. They're not only the better football team on paper, as they've demonstrated today, they're the better team on the field today. And this offense has been outstanding. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. He goes at the 25 yard line. That makes it first and 10. It's first and 10. Ball on the 25 yard line. He makes it out to maybe the 23 yard line. That makes it second and eight. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. Looking for the corner. Gets out to about the 21. Third down, and they need to get it to the 15. joins us in the studio with this update. Reese. On the hunt for some action in Huntington. This was a tight one to the very end. Pittman's mastery of the passing game had to please his coaching staff as he busted the 200-yard mark. Marshall gets the W, 28-24. Reese is 34-10 in this one. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Sanders takes it from the six. Oh, what a hit. <laughs> Nothing left here except to see the clock hit zero. A comeback is just not happening. They'll spread the field with five wide. Let's go! They'll bring him down around the 36-yard line. You can tell he's got a lot of faith in his wide receivers. Even when he's a little bit off target, they can pull it in and make something happen. Under a minute left in the game. Quick throw, almost intercepted. That could have been a huge shift in momentum if they were able to hold on to that one. Wow, that was close. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Brought down around the 45-yard line. He made a really good move at the line of scrimmage. Sometimes all you need to do is throw off the defender's timing just a little bit at the start of the play. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Nice run up the middle. Gets out to about the 42-yard line. The Wildcats using their third and final timeout. Fires it out. And he's taken down the 39-yard line. 
Boise State staff just dancing on the sideline. Their star player came through for them, and they couldn't be happy. Well, the staff has to feel good. The entire team should feel good. And I know you and I just having a chance to sit back and, and watch this young man play. Uh, just an outstanding performance and something that this entire team will be able to build on. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Herb Street, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.